Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and I am stoked to tell you about the new features in Lightroom Classic CC that were released June 20th. Let's get into it. Okay, so for those of you who have been following Adobe Creative Cloud and looking at your updates, you will see that they updated a couple applications, including Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. So Lightroom CC 7.3.1 has been updated, and now if we go over to Lightroom, we've got a couple really awesome features that I'm stoked on. When you first open up Lightroom Classic CC, you'll notice that pretty much nothing has changed visually, but do not be deceived. They've actually added a couple of organization features, which are pretty cool. So first off is in the library. Now normally when you're in the library, you have your folders here where all your photos are housed. They've added a color tagging feature where now I can actually take my folder and go add color label and let's make this one purple. And then I can go to desktop and I can go, let's make this one green. And so when we actually go to this search tab, we can go search by labeled folders and it will only disable, yeah, only display folders that have a label applied. So it makes it a lot easier to access your photos visually if you're a visually color-oriented person. Okay, so now let's jump over into the develop module and look at the next two updates that they've added. This is my favorite feature of all time that Lightroom has ever released, and it is the ability to get rid of these stupid stock presets that nobody ever uses. If you use them, no offense to you, I'm sure they're great. I've never used them, and they take up a bunch of space, and I'm kind of OCD about... You know, this is just wasted real estate. I'm on a small little laptop. I want to have maximum space available. So now if I go up to this plus button, hit the manage presets, I can actually deselect these presets I've never used in my life and never intend on using. Oh, it's glorious. It's glorious. I can get rid of all of them and only keep the preset packs that I use, which obviously are going to be the signature edits packs because, you know, why not? This is my workflow situation, so you can do whatever you want and whatever works for you. So now I can just cycle between the preset packs that I use the most instead of having my presets be taken up with a whole bunch of stuff that I never use. How awesome is that? Okay, so very last is our profile situation has been updated kind of accordingly. This is a feature that so far I haven't really taken advantage of in Lightroom, but in the latest update to version 7, they introduced this thing called camera profiles. I'm not sure if they're trying to phase out presets or what it is. But now by right clicking on here, we can hit manage profiles and we can get rid of profiles we don't normally use. So I'm getting rid of all of these artistic, black and white, whatever, whatever. And I'm just gonna keep the Adobe Raw and camera matching profiles. Simplify and cut down to the things that I really use. Actually, right now I don't use any of these profiles, but you get the point. If you wanna organize those, you can do so to your heart's content. So those are the main updates to Adobe Lightroom 7.4. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll keep you updated with all the new stuff coming out. If you use Lightroom CC, that's CC Mobile, you can head over to my next video and I'm going to bust out the brand new feature that they have introduced. It's awesome. You don't want to miss it. All right. See you in the next one.